Future plans for a Metro High School brought a big crowd with big opinions to tonight's Metro School Board meeting. The issue, should Hillwood High School move to Bellevue? 75 people signed up to address the board and News Channel 5's Emily Luxon was there for all of it. A capacity crowd packed into the Metro School Board meeting with one topic in mind, the future of Hillwood High School. It is needed and it's needed now. The school on Davidson Road in West Nashville is showing signs of age. But instead of renovating the school at the existing site, some community leaders encouraged board members to build it in Bellevue. Being that the city is getting a huge renovation, I think Bellevue getting its renovation with the Bellevue One Plaza and this high school, I think it could be a great thing for this community. Supporters of the move say the majority of Hillwood students come from Bellevue. The location would be the perfect place for the school's diverse student population and the growing community is anxious to support the school. We need to be proactive with this growth and build quality schools that will see families stay in the cluster and stay on the pathway from our successful elementary and middle schools and continue on to a high school. Board members are considering two locations, the Bellevue Middle School campus and the Hope Park Church on Highway 70. But opponents say neither spot is ideal. In my opinion, the Hope Park Church site is dangerous, unsafe, and represents an accident waiting to happen. Others argued the price tag to move Hillwood is too high and it should stay where it is. Metro Schools has many capital improvement needs and spending the extra money to move Hillwood High School nine miles is unfair to the other districts. Now the final decision is up to board members. They say if you know better, you do better. Nashville, this is our opportunity for us not to only do better, but be better. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Board members will vote on the plans for the school on January 24th. There will be two more community meetings about this very issue before that vote, and we have that information on newschannel5.com.